Hey, I'm glad you're here. Welcome back to another episode of the Blues Heart Biker. Well, all right, friends, welcome back to the Blues Heart Biker channel. Hope everybody's doing good. I know I'm doing pretty good today. Uh, other than the fact that I've been busy doing other things and I absolutely have no content plan for this week's episode. I have no idea why I, I generally have, well, it's been hot like I've said in previous videos and so my content opportunities have been dwindling. So, I'm kind of stuck without nothing to do. So I just decided I'd ride my Sportster around beautiful downtown Fresno today and uh, see what kind of trouble I could get into or to see what kind of fun we can have. Um, just want to drive around, see the sights. You know, anytime you're on two wheels is a good time, so. And that's what I want to do. I want to have a good time. Sports are running good, man. I keep forgetting how beautiful of a bike this actually is, you know. It's it's a little wore out. It's got some few little issues, you know, that gear shifters kind of loose. Once in a while, if you don't shift it literally, it'll kind of get stuck between gears. Uh, but other than that, it's running pretty darn good. You know, I, as you know, I spend most of my time riding a soft tail just because it's so smooth and it's kind of quiet. I guess it's maybe I'm getting kind of old but man this bike is fun to ride I forgot how much fun it is you know buzzing through town with it and stuff some guys on some electric bikes I think everybody should have a Sportster. And eventually I'm, I'm going to have to do something to this bike. I know, as I've got 60 some odd thousand miles on it, this guy right here has got a, an old service car in there. It's been sitting in there since I was a kid. Oh, Harley Davidson service car with the you know 45 cubic inch three wheeler, and uh, he said that thing sitting in there since I was 15 years old or even younger than that. Shit, probably, probably since I was born. Maybe I don't know. That's an old Fresno business there, and uh, that old service car has been there. Let's take another look at it. See if you can see it. I stopped by one time and asked him if I could talk to him about it. And he said he had too much stuff going on to show it to me. So I haven't got a chance to ask him again because I don't like to bug people with this stuff you know people are busy I should be a little more aggressive maybe I'd have a little more content let's see if we can see in there there it is I don't know whether you can see in there or not 
there's an old couple of bikes in there that's an old it's like a pretty old servant car yeah how cool is that one of these days I'll go back and ask him again if I could see it when I was a kid I was probably 16 my dad and I went to a police auction and they had an old service car there for sale and I had been working and I worked a lot when I was younger you know I, I used to there's not much for me to save you know five or six hundred bucks when I was young you know a teenager which back in the late 70s was a lot of money you know but I had I had saved up a thousand dollars can you believe that you're, you're a kid and you've got a thousand dollars and I had saved up a thousand dollars I wanted to buy something like a Harley or something like that I had a thousand bucks and uh, my dad and I went to that police auction and we um, saw this service car there and it was an old cop bike you know I have no idea what year it was but uh, it looked like it was pretty you know been sitting around for a long time what they used those service cars for were um, were um, meter maids and uh, my dad said, well, it's, it's high up in the auction. I got a couple errands to run, so let's go do these errands. We'll come back and we'll bid on it. You know, I was pretty excited about that because, you know, man, I got me a Harley here. I'm going to ride this Harley to school. You know, three-wheeler. It had a hand shifter on it. And so I got back there and some guy had the bike running. And it was purring like a kitten. He had a battery, some jumper cables with a battery. And he had it running. And uh, I asked him if he bought it. He said, yeah. I said, what'd you get for it? He said, $750. I was a little bummed out. <laughs> he got that service car for $750. And I went home without nothing. I don't know what I did with my money. You know, you're a kid, so you kind of dwindled away, you know. I think I did end up with part of the money um, by a Suzuki 500 with it. But how cool would I have been riding to school on that thing, a three-wheeler, you know, you're 16 years old three-wheel Harley <laughs> yeah I think about that a lot oh, it's a great day riding a Sportster though it's today it's going to be a cooler day than some of the other heat wave days we're just barely in the not even 100 degrees it's a, in the 90s so it's bearable to ride Tomorrow it's supposed to get back up to 100 and whatever. But I do have some things planned for the next couple of episodes. It's just I was cut short with this one. I kind of got caught with nothing to do. So I hope you guys don't mind me just cruising around on the Sportster. It's mon Monday today and... All the motorcycle shops in town close on Monday, so I can't go bug the motorcycle shops and look at their stuff. Do some kind of episode like that because uh, they're all closed. Yeah, the sports store. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! Yeah, man. You know, I've never put a quart of oil in this bike. It's always full. It doesn't. It, it, it leaks a little tiny bit when I don't ride it.
not too bad. today. running great this thing just you know and it was just nice riding it on the freeway uh oh listen to this all right there we go <laughs> here i'm bragging about how nice it's running and the fucker dies on me I get to riding and I can't think of anything interesting to say sometimes you know I, I get to looking around and I start kind of spacing out a little bit I don't mean spacing out like you know like I'm not paying attention or anything but I just kind of sometimes I just kind of get into it and get in a zone that's a beautiful thing about riding you know you can, it's really easy to get into a zone you know, that's the thing about riding is it's one of the only ways that I can really clear my mind, you know, because you get out, you ride, and you're concentrating on riding. You know, you gotta you gotta pay attention to what's going on all the time, looking around, watching out for this guy right here and make sure that this guy don't come over. Looking behind you, make sure some guy doesn't come up and rear end you and smash you into this Dodge Ram up here. Make sure no one's running the stop sign. And you gotta pay attention to what's going on on your bike. How your bike's running. Make sure nothing's falling off things you're kind of thinking about you know and you don't have time to think about you know screwed up things that are going on in your life or you know your bills or your job you're just thinking about riding a motorcycle and it really it really clears your mind man Although I'm preaching to the choir again because most of you guys who are riding know this already, you know, that's why you do it. But 
this is where I grew up right here. My dad built that shop from the ground up. That was our house right there. None of this was here though. None of this trucking company. None of this trucking company. These were all open fields. All of this was all open fields out here. And I used to have a Kawasaki 100. Got it when I was 12 or 13. I used to buzz it up and down this street all the time. Every day after school, I'd hop on that thing. I must have drove the neighbors crazy. I'd buzz up and down this street, buzz up and down this street, back and forth over and over. A lot of this has changed. They didn't have all this here. Used to be some bikers who lived there. When I say bikers, I mean like in the 70s bikers, like, like choppers and stuff, you know. And there's a lot of that out around here. And I'm still buzzing up and down that road. Except not with a Kawasaki 100. I'm buzzing up and down with a Sportster. 45 years later. That's it for today friends thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, watching sorry i didn't have a little more content planned but hey sometimes you know just riding around is fun and uh, and that's what i did you know got to drive around fresno you guys got to see a little bit of fresno and fresno county history here um and uh all of that on a sportster how does it get any better than that don't get no better than that does it <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, thanks. I'd like to ask you now, uh, if you like what you see here, to subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you like the videos, give me the thumbs up there. And if you really like my channel and you'd like to know whenever I upload something new, there's a little bell over there. It's a little bell icon. You hit that thing and it'll let you know whenever I uh, upload some new content. Keep an eye out for the four links in the corners those are links to my previous videos watch those too because every every watch helps and uh, let's hear your comments talk to me let me hear what you have to say and uh i i talk to everybody and i answer everybody's comments got more good stuff lined up and uh, hopefully you'll be there with us to watch thanks a lot for watching